What's going on YouTube? I'm still between programs at the moment. We've got this little limbo period between the end of the year and 2019. So at the moment, I'm still stuck in this mindset where I just wanna walk into the gym, train things that I enjoy training, have some fun, and get on with my life. So today, I'm gonna to take you guys through a back and tricep workout because like I said, it's fun. Today we're going to start off with 50 chin-ups. Now chin-ups are one of my favorite exercises. We're going to incorporate a neutral grip so we can get a little bit more arm activation because, well, arms. Now chin-ups are one of those exercises that I find most people tend to struggle with. Now obviously pulling up your entire body weight, that's a lot of weight. The way that I like to get around this is doing lots of sets of not very many reps. So today, while I said we're doing 50 chins, we're actually going to do 10 sets of five reps. So what we're gonna do, as I said, shorten the amount of reps we're doing each set, focus on that execution, and get through plenty of sets. Take as much rest as we need between each of those sets so that we can really nail it, and then go from there. Nice explosive concentric contraction before controlling that eccentric, loading the lats, and then making sure that we keep our core engaged. One of the ways I like to do that so just think about kicking the knees ever so slightly forward so that we can actually feel our abs working, which should allow us to better utilize the entire length of our lats. Keep smashing the lats now. We're gonna go into an overhand lat pull down. Not gonna go too wide a grip because we want to still incorporate a really decent range of motion through the lats. So just wider than shoulder width apart. We're gonna go for 12 to 15 and jump straight into a lat push down. So a straight arm push down to really finish them off. You guys will see more often than not when I'm doing hypertrophy accessory style work. I like to incorporate nice, slow eccentrics, basically because it's gonna put the muscle under more tension, keep that muscle working for longer, which is gonna to move towards greater muscle tears, greater muscle damage, which hopefully will mean more gains, more muscle tissue. Okay, so next up we're gonna move into a couple of rowing movements. We're gonna look at supersetting a heavier movement with a lighter movement. So we're gonna look at eight heavy-ish bent over barbell rows, and I'm gonna superset that with a dumbbell seal row on an incline bench. But again, we're gonna use a lighter weight for around 12 to 15 reps. The idea being we wanna try and hit as many different types of muscle fibers to try and get as much growth as possible. Smashing a boost juice. It's a uh, green mango smoothie. Beck recently got me into it. It's fucking delicious. It's about uh, 35, 40 grams of carbs. Now that I'm eating a little bit more, I've got more room for fun things like this. A lot of the times when people are building muscle, they forget about liquid calories and how efficient they are, not only getting calories in, but also essentially fast energy. So, no better time, in my opinion, to drink one of these than either before or during a training session to make sure that that session can actually go the distance.
Okay, so to finish off the back portion of this workout, we're gonna go two drop sets on the close grip seated cable row machine. We're gonna go for a set of six to eight, as heavy as we can manage without failing technically, dropping the weight down about 50%, and then going for another 12 reps on top of that. All right, best part of the workout, triceps. Again, we're gonna look at supersetting a heavier movement with a lighter movement. So six to eight reps, followed by 12 to 15 reps. We're gonna do two different supersets. Starting off with a lying dumbbell tricep extension or a dumbbell skull crusher, and supersetting that with a cable tricep push down with a straight bar. Final superset that we're gonna hit is an overhead rope tricep extension. We're gonna look for 10 to 12 reps, and then supersetting that with a tricep kickback, we're going super high rep here, 15 to 20 on those. Two sets of each. That is the end of today's workout. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to catch a whole bunch more workouts that I've been posting lately. Make sure you save them and do them at a later date. And let me know how you go. If you do end up hitting any of those workouts, make sure you tag me on them so I can throw you up on my own story, give you a little bit more exposure as well. Don't forget that these workouts are a lot of fun, but the best way to build strength and build muscle over time is to stick with a consistent workout routine. Now, if we can put ourselves in a position where we can track our volume and make sure that over time we're lifting more and more of it, rather than chopping and changing between exercises each and every time we train, we're gonna have a much better chance of building more strength and more muscle, as well as having the opportunity to actually see that we're making progress, and even better still, if we aren't making progress, well, we can actually see what we need to do about it in order to make sure that happens. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more. Until next time, see you then.